Well, oh, I didn't get but it. you got to be clear. Time. So we're doing the three, four, five method. Where I'm butting myself into the ledger. Now this theory and this way works if the deck ledger is straight and this joist is straight. Now, if you look down, the joist is really good, but you got to keep in mind, if it's a wavy or it's got a bow in it, don't do the three, four, five, because it won't be accurate. But the best way to be accurate is to take it as long as you possibly can. Now, I wish we were 12 feet, because then my three, four, five would work perfectly. Um, let's see here. I'll show you what I mean. Hold up. Oh shit. Let's go this way. So three, four, five. So if I times these by, I could go inches, I could go 30 inches, 40 inches, 50 inches. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna times all of these by three. Times three, times three, times three. So nine, 12, 15. So those are our numbers that we're gonna use. So I'm gonna go nine this way, 12, and this should be 15. Let's do it. All right, so inside to inside, so nine feet, I'm gonna mark that accurately right there. And I like to circle it. Nine, 12, And then Rudy's gonna hold the corner of my tape measure on the nine foot mark. Yeah, you gotta make sure you're on the same side of the tape measure. I'm about a, I'm a quarter inch too tight. So I'm quarter inch less than 15 feet. So what that's telling me is that deck's gotta go out just a little bit because we're sitting a little bit too tight, so we gotta extend it. So that's the first way. And then let's do the cross dimension and just see how close that is. Because now we have to contemplate if it's gotta go that way, do we push it out and risk being able to look down the side of the building and have it kicked out? Or it has to be relatively square so when you're doing your deck boards, you don't have these weird cuts at the end or any weird where the deck boards don't sit flush the whole way. So, yeah. 